President-elect Joe Biden said he would make his stimulus plan his top priority once he took office. He unveiled his $1.9 trillion COVID relief plan on January 14th, which he calls the American Rescue Plan. Includes more stimulus checks, unemployment benefits, vaccinations, food and housing support for support for small businesses, and state and local aid. He said the whole plan is to help both people and the economy recover. Here's a couple things that are included. The first is more stimulus checks in the amount of about $1,400. You know, it was a discussion to get up to $2,000 in the second round of COVID relief. It ended up being $600 per person. Joe Biden wants to do $1,400 to take us back up to that 2,000 number. So he includes $1,400 in the stimulus checks, unemployment insurance in the amount of $400 per week in a supplement that would run through September, $25 billion in rental assistance, $5 billion to help renters pay utilities, an extra $5 billion to help state and localities help prevent homelessness, a lot of housing and rental support, along with a continuation on that moratorium on evictions. Right now, it is set to expire at the end of January. President-elect Joe Biden said he would like that to go through the end of September. Also extended would be food support, an additional 15% on top of food benefits that individuals receive. That extension happened under the COVID relief legislation that was signed into law at the end of December 2020, but that expires at the end of June. The Biden plan takes that through September. With additional support to help other food support programs for women, infant, and children, and other food assistance programs. He would increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour, in addition to making other minimum wage program changes for uh, tipped based wages and sub minimum wage workers. He would also expand sick and family medical leave while also temporarily increasing some child care tax credits. He said he would call on Congress to help out in supporting people that have lost their job-based health insurance to help subsidize the cost of some of those premiums, while also increasing and expanding Affordable Care Act premium subsidies. Included in his proposal was also $440 billion for state and localities to spend on grants and loan programs for small businesses. There is also a lot more support for states and localities. And part of that also goes to territorial governments. And these are emergency funds. On top of that is money for vaccine programs, about $160 billion in a national vaccination program. That would include expanded testing, public health jobs, protective equipment and supplies, and of course, funding for schools. Biden said he is optimistic he can work with the U.S. Congress to get this legislation passed. And in his comments, he said, I know what we just described will not come cheaply, $1.9 trillion, but failing to do so would cost us dearly. He continues, the consensus among leading economists is we simply cannot afford not to do it. He said, if we invest now boldly, smartly, with an unwavering focus on American workers and families, we will strengthen our economy, reduce inequity, and put our nation's long-term finances on a more sustainable course. You can read comments on this Biden proposal, as well as the comments he made in his remarks on January 14th. We link to both of those in the description below.